So we are headed to Camp Chihuahua this weekend. Sean is on call, so we can't go very far from home. It's really like seven minutes from our house. We've gone there before on day trips and kayaking and things like that. So um, today we just decided to go and camp there. They have cabins, they have campsites. We're gonna choose a cabin because they are pretty inexpensive. I think the one that we're staying in is $50 with tax everything, 56, and it's got air conditioning. So I can't wait to show you guys around the park and the cabin aspect of it. We're just gonna do a little bit of fishing with the kids. There's a pool. So we're really excited just to kind of take a break. We just needed some time with the kids away somewhere. So we are here at Camp Chihuahua. while we have finally gotten in and gotten settled. I'm here at the um, campground cabins area where we're staying, which I'll go into in a minute um, without the kids. Sean has them down at the pool. I just got the baby to sleep. So I'll show you around a little bit. So we are staying in the Squirrel Run area. Um, there are lots of different cabins, smaller cabins, ones with air conditioning, ones without, lots of lodging. Um, there's also lots of pavilions, a huge, beautiful cabin you can rent, which is gorgeous for weddings. We're gonna do it for our wedding, but um, the, it's a county park, so they don't allow alcohol, and we are the type where we needed alcohol at our wedding. <laughs> Um, so we're staying in Squirrel Run. This is, if you can see, there's several cabins all behind me, picnic tables. Well, this is the inside of our cabin for this evening. There are six bunks. Oh, there's a bed for the kids. Um, there's a little bit of a I think what we're gonna do actually is take two of the mattresses off and sleep on the floor with the baby. She likes to co sleep with us. So not too bad for 50 bucks a night. Roof over your head. I think the kids are really enjoying it. There is a bathroom right here. It's got a family bathroom and a men's and a women's. Right now they just have the family bathroom open because we are the only people here. We are the only people here um, this evening. So that's going to make it really nice for us because we have kids and they're noisy. So I'm gonna head over here to the fire pit, which is literally right behind our cabin. So our cabin is right here. The fire pit is right here. So um, we have that right behind us. We don't have to share it with anyone, which is really nice because at each campsite there's a grill but there's not a fire pit so we have this directly right behind us and then inside of our cabin there's only the ac there's six bunk beds so that's why we chose this one because our family is so big but let me head over here so this is the um common area kitchen so which is really cool because it has an outdoor grill i put a tablecloth on the table and then i'm going to take you inside and we're going to take a peek at what it looks like inside there. So this is the inside of the um, common area kitchen. So if there were a lot of people here camping, we would share this with everyone, but they've got everything you need, which makes it really nice. So there's like, this is empty inside here. It's just some cupboard space. Um, oh, the kids already locked it up. I'm not gonna open it up. Um, I don't know, it kind of looks like a coffin, but <laughs> it does say Lydia's coffin on the inside. Oh dear. Um, so it's kind of cool because there's writing all over the inside of it. I guess you can hang stuff up in here, um, whatever you need to. There's a microwave, another entrance, um, these huge long tables, chairs, of course, if you need it, an inside fireplace, indoor fireplace, stove, and then the refrigerator. So. Um, this is actually really nice, especially since we have it all to ourselves. There's no AC in here, there's definitely fans. It's Florida, so it's gonna be hot. And then let's take a peek back outside. So I found the light switches. So out here, there's a light out here. There's like a little storage area. Of course, the lovely grill, which is amazing if we were gonna grill out. We we're actually just doing ramen this evening because that's all we like doing when it's hot. And we're relaxing. So that is Squirrel Run. Since I'm here by myself, I'm gonna go ahead and get the fire started. I already filled it up with some firewood that I found laying around. There actually was a pile of it for us to use. We purchased some from the ranger station. 
So I'm gonna get that started while the kids are not here. But Sean decided this time to make his own little fire starter. Um, just because we ran out of the, the um, pre-made fire ones that we usually get. So he decided to be innovative and try this. So we've done this before. It's just lint on the inside from the dryer. We've got a toilet paper tube and then it's got duct tape on the outside. So I'm gonna throw it in there and let you guys see how quickly and nicely it works. We had to take this test and it wasn't fun. What did you have to do for the test? We, I had, the order to go around the whole pool to get a green necklace, you had to swim with your head up and you had to stay above the water for a minute. Mm -hmm. So. So you felt like And then was... Jager didn't do that, so he had, he had to get the yellow necklace, so. Oh, you have to wear a necklace when you're down there? Yeah. Yeah. Don't sound so excited. Yeah, bro. You're talking to children who swim in Florida pools and waters and springs all the time, so they felt like it was a little, it was a little much. Mm-hmm. Jager. Since we're taking it super easy this evening, I am not doing my usual meal prep. We are having cabo noodles in the microwave. So it is the evening, it's cooled off a little bit. We're about to take the kids fishing. Sean and Carson headed over in the van and we are going to take the trails. Ooh, the dinosaur over there. Trails into the uh, main area to fish off either the dock or the um, the boat ramp area. So we made it through. If you can see through the woods over there, those are our cabins. We're on the main road. It really was a super short walk. I am in the main parking area. There's lots of, behind me you can see um, buildings that you can rent out. There's parking here, there's a pool, there's more buildings over there. So we are headed down to the boat ramp area to take the kids fishing. Since this is a county park, there are things that are free. So we've come here before, launched our kayaks. Um, there's some short hiking trails we've hiked in here before. So really it's just, if you want to rent the cabins, camping or um, pavilions, then you can definitely do that. There's a pool here, so you do have to pay to get into the pool. The kids already gave their uh, assessment on how they felt about the pool, but it's a cute little place to be so close to home for us. I would definitely recommend checking it out. I think it's kind of an underrated um, park, especially since if you are local, you kind of know about it. It was a Girl Scout park at one time. So now it's open to the public, but they have weddings here. You can um, do, I've gone here on a field trip. I've taken my students here on a field trip before, which for kindergarten, it was really good for them because it worked on things that they needed and kind of got them out into nature, which is, for me, as a big as a camper and outdoors person, is very important to me to expose them to that. So we're gonna head down to the water. The water level is kind of high. We just had a nor'easter come through here recently. So you're gonna see when we get down there, the remnants of where the water line was because the Black Creek down where we live floods quite often. So um, we're gonna go fish for a little bit. Give it an eight. Oh, that's better than most of the MREs. 
What are you doing, Jager? Meditating and moving my toes. Mm -hmm. Why are you just moving your toes? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take this. We just woke up a little bit ago. We are sitting and relaxing underneath the pavilion while the kids have some leftover MRE Pop-Tarts. And I think we're gonna take them fishing before we head back home. So we are out here on the dock at Camp Chihuahua over, I'll give you a little tour. Over here is where the boat launch is, where you can do your kayaks and canoes. That's where we were yesterday fishing. Uh, right behind me is Black Creek Bridge. So there is a boat ramp over there that gets a lot of use. I don't know if you can see all the boats over there now. Um, people dropping their boats in the water and coming out here on Black Creek. So the kids are fishing. Right behind me, there's somebody who's about to go um, or something I think in the water and there's Carson and then over there on the other side there's a big opening kind of like near where Bastion's head is and that's the end of the Black Creek Trail so there's a trail that goes from one end of Fleming Island all the way to the other end and I wouldn't really say it's a hiking trail it's along the highway it's more for running and um, biking, the very uh, beginning of it's really pretty. It's through some woods and whatnot. And there, are, there is, what, a, a mountain bike trail in there they just started brand new. So we're just enjoying all the boats going by and the sun coming up and it's getting really hot. We are headed back home from Camp Chuenwa. It really was a cute little park to go to for the weekend. Um, I don't think I have to do like a whole tip video just on this park, but I will say the bathrooms were super clean. Uh, we had a family bathroom all to ourselves. The mosquitoes were pretty bad. And when it comes to stuff around, because it is kind of plopped like right in the middle of suburbia and rural suburb suburbia, there is stuff right down the road, Target, Walmart, gas, stations everything for you to um to get to so i think it's a good little spot if you're looking for somewhere along the river small trails very small trails just to kind of enjoy for the weekend <laughs> 